Let me, let me first express my gratitude for uh, being allowed to address you today. It is an honor indeed to speak to you today. The past few years have, ex have been extremely difficult for Tamils everywhere in the world. The horrors of the war were indeed indescribable. Who, for instance, can stay untouched when watching the cruel images from the recent Channel 4 documentary? I am sure that nobody can. It will take many, many years to come to terms with the tragedy, or maybe never. But notwithstanding these very difficult years, there are also some points of hope. Not only here in Geneva, where Sri Lanka is finally pressured by the international community to grant justice to those who suffered from the terrible crimes committed by the Sinhalese armed forces, but also in some countries in Europe, there are certainly some points of hope. In Italy and the Netherlands, criminal courts recently decided that the LTTE was in fact fighting for freedom and self-determination of the Tamils. Therefore, it cannot be considered a terrorist organization. And a year ago, the LTTE decided to legally challenge the 2006 decision of the European Union that the LTTE is a terrorist organization that must be banned. Legal proceedings are well underway, and we are now waiting for a date when our arguments can be heard in Luxembourg, where the European Court of Justice is situated. And when that day arrives, I hope you will be present in the same numbers as today. Let me give you some uh, background about the case. In 2006, the Council of Ministers of the European Union placed the LTTE on its so-called terrorist list, a decision that requires the freezing of all assets and monies of the organization in 27 countries within the European Union. It also obliged governments of the European Union member states to prosecute LTTE members. And the consequence of this listing is that Tamils have indeed been prosecuted in criminal cases in various European countries like France, the Netherlands, Italy, Germany, but also here in Switzerland. Last year, five Tamils faced a lengthy trial in the Netherlands. They have been wrongfully convicted to long prison sentences. And 20-some uh, Tamils are still waiting for a decision to be prosecuted in the Netherlands. And the case of the five convicted Dutch uh, Tamils is now under appeal. I will use some of the aspects of that criminal case in the Netherlands to illustrate the importance of the ongoing proceedings at the European Court of Justice in Luxembourg to have the LTTE removed from the EU terrorist list. The main argument of the Dutch prosecutor is that the LTTE is a terrorist organization making the five Dutch Tamils who are on trial terrorists due to their affiliation uh, with the LTTE. And the listing by the European Union as a, uh, as a terrorist organization was used as proof that the LTTE, also in Holland, is in fact a terrorist organization. And by that logic, the activities they were involved in, such as the Heroes Day and fundraising for the victims of war, were considered terrorist activities and therefore criminal activities. And the same arguments were even made for the schools that were teaching the Tamil language and the Tamil culture. However, we argued in the Dutch court that the European Council's decision to place and to keep the LTT on the terrorist list does not and cannot automatically mean that the organization is, in fact, a terrorist organization. And we argued that any decision of this kind is a political decision and that the LTTE band itself was a result of political pressure from the United States and from other countries. And we also argued in the Dutch court that the, EU, the EU placement decision has never been subject to any kind of legal review by a court. In other words, there is no independent court which ever looked at this listing in order to determine whether or not an organization legally qualifies as a terrorist organization. And to our relief, the Dutch court has agreed with our arguments and decided that the LTTE cannot be considered a terrorist organization. And the court, Dutch court also said that the LTTE, in fact, was legitimately fighting uh, in a so-called non-international armed conflict. 
and the court decided that the rules of an armed conflict applied not only to the Sinhalese armed forces, but also, of course, to the LTTE. <laughs> Hence, making the attacks by the LTTE on, for instance, army bases or ships legitimate and in accordance with the laws of war. <laughs> However, because the LTTE is still on the EU list, any affiliation with the LTTE is still considered to be a legal and a criminal offense in the Netherlands and other European countries. And that's why, unfortunately, uh, the five Dutch Tamils were nevertheless convicted to lengthy prison sentences. It is therefore very important that legal proceedings were in fact initiated at the European Court uh, of Justice in Luxembourg in order to have the, the ban lifted. Not only, of course, for the Tamils in the Netherlands, but for all the Tamils in the world. And that is what we did on behalf of the LTTE last year in the spring. We have challenged the position of the European Union that the LTTE is terrorist, and we have asked the European Court in Luxembourg to annul the decision on which the LTTE ban is based. And, and in the proceedings before the European Court of Justice, we argued just like in the, case, the criminal case in the Netherlands, that the LTT is not a terrorist organization at all, but an organization that has fought for the self-determination and independence of Tamils in Sri Lanka. And we explained to the European Court that this struggle was a necessary struggle because the Sinhalese authorities had discriminated severely against Tamils for many years, oppressed the Tamils and endangered their lives and very existence. And we described to the European Court how the Tamils had been treated by the Sinhalese authority by un un outlining the history of the conflict on Sri Lanka. And we have pointed at the massive human rights violations and the war crimes that have been taking place in Sri Lanka. And of course, we refer to the, the European Court of Justice to the recent judgment of Holland uh, and Italy. And we explained to the European Court of Justice that civil war always, unfortunately, un involves loss of, lives, of life, but that civil wars are governed by the laws of war, and it is different from the law that applies during peacetime. And under the laws of war, it is legal to attack opposing forces to, in order to win. It is also uh, legal to attack certain targets, like I said, such as military bases. It is precisely for that reason that the EU itself has always said that laws regarding the terrorist organizations do not apply during the civil war. And most importantly, we argued to the European Court of Justice that uh, they have completely ignored the fact that the LTTE today is a political organization. Things have changed since May 2009, and the court has to take this fundamental change of circumstances into account. So summarizing, these proceedings before the European Court in Luxembourg are very, very important indeed. And hopefully sometime this year, the European Court will decide that the LTTE are not terrorists, but freedom fighters. So my message for you today is do not give hope. One day you will have justice. Thank you.